In this tutorial, we will learn about advanced mate. I have these three component added to the assembly. Between this surface and this surface, I want to apply symmetry constraint around the center of this object. Symmetry constraint is not mirror. In mirror, actually complete component will be mirror. But in this case, only these two faces will remain symmetric around the plane. Click on mate. Click on advanced mate. Click on symmetric. Then click on this surface and this surface. Then click on symmetry plane. Click here. Click here. And select the plane. Around this plane I want to keep it symmetric. Select the plane. And OK. So this two surface will remain symmetric around this plane. If I shift this part, then this part will also shift. Let's try it. Now there is this coincidence constraint is there. I will edit it and make it distance and give the gap of 20. Now as I shift this surface, it shifted this surface also. And if I shift other surfaces, if I shift this surface, distance mate 50, enter. So it will not have any effect on the part because it is not a mirror constraint. Next advanced constraint is width constraint. That component will always remain between selected surfaces. I will just cancel this symmetric constraint. Now I want to keep this part always between these two surfaces and click on mate advanced mate then width then select the width selection select the original path original slots two surfaces then select tab selection select the surfaces of the part that you want to keep in between these two surfaces previously selected two surfaces so this part will always remain in the center of this width in any condition. You can also place cylindrical part that will also remain between these two surfaces. And next is path mate. I will insert one part. Insert component. Browse. I will take this pin and put it here. I want to move this pin along this path. Click on mate. Then click on advanced mate. Select path mate then here you will have to select the component vertex I will select the vertex this center vertex then path select this path then click on ok if I move it I can move it along this path but while moving it it is getting rotated but I don't want it to be rotated, it should be vertical and straight. To do that, you will have to again edit the path mate, edit the feature. Then to keep it vertical, you will have to specify in this roll control so that it will not rotate around the path. Click on this roll control, click on this up vector, then select the up vector. I want it to be a vertical like this line. Select on this line. Now it got down actually I want it up. Click on this flip. So it came up and just bring it back. In this way you can keep it up and if now we will see it again. Okay and we will move it. You will see that it is rotating around its axis. But I don't want to rotate it around its own axis. For that click on this path mate. Edit feature. Then to avoid this rotation around its own axis you will have to click on this pitch your control and click here and select click on follow path then define the axis which which axis should follow the path suppose I want this z axis to follow the path and click on ok and if we now see it it will not rotate around its axis it will maintain that position then next is linear or linear coupler mate. I want to apply linear coupler mate between these two parts. 
I will just cancel this, delete this width mate, and I will mate it with this surface, this surface with this surface, okay, and this surface with this surface, okay. Then for this also I will modify the mate. I don't need this mate because I want to move it like this. So I will delete this mate. Okay. Then I want to remove this mate also and make it coincidence. Okay. Then to apply coupler mate click on advanced mate. Click on linear coupler. And select this surface and this surface. Then specify the ratio. I will give it here 2. That means when this object will be moved by 1, it will move by 2. And click on OK. If I drag this component, it is getting rotated. So I will apply one below mate also. Mate this surface and this surface. So it will stick to this bottom surface. Now if I drag this component, now when I drag this component, the other component is moving faster than the previous one. Because we have given a ratio of double. When it moves by 1, it moves by 2. So it is going ahead of this component. And if you want to move them by the same distance, and click on this edit feature and give the same distance one ratio of one only in that case it will move simultaneously in this way you can have the relative motions using linear coupler mate then next mate is this one limit distance for that we will put this pin here mate then we will apply this mate with this hole and ok then we will apply advanced mate that is this limit distance distance then we will have to give two surfaces for limit this surface and this surface then here you can specify the maximum distance so maximum distance is 10 and minimum is 0 and then ok when I drag this component it can be dragged within that limit only we can make it 20 also we'll just make it 20 cancel it for this limit distance edit feature make it 20 ok and if we drag it it can move within that range only and you can also mate or anti-align click on anti-align ok Okay, it can be dragged like this also and there is one more option is there that is flip dimension using this flip dimension and mate ok ok you can give limit in this way also so you can use both align anti align and flip dimension to decide your position the next is limit angle if for some part I want to give limit angle, I don't want, I will remove this mate. Okay, all the mates are deleted. Then I will mate this line with this line. And then, okay, this surface with this surface. Okay. Then I want to apply limit angle between these two surfaces. Click on advanced mate. Or click on this angle then select two surfaces this surface and this surface then give the limit angle minimum angle 0 degree maximum is 45 degree and this is the current position 45 degree and if you want to bring it inside flip the dimension and anti align so it will come inside click on ok ok now if you drag this component it can be dragged within that anger range only. That's all. All the advanced mates are covered. Thanks for watching. We will stop here.